I wouldn't say that, Madame Curie. You see, I think it's a very scientific day. I have just discovered air conditioning. Oh! Yes! <laughs> a fan! Ah. Oh, well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, yes. What in the kitchen was that? Some boffins up on that bench. Don't stay in there too long, Newton. You'll start to freeze. I found a big one. Yikes! It certainly is cold. Oh! Heavy too. Okay, I'm ready for it. Oh! Good heavens! They've opened the fridge door. Oh, so they have. Ah! ah. What are you two up to? Here it comes. Oh, don't, Madame Curie! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. We've been collecting ice cubes. Well, it's such a hot day, we thought it might cool us down. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, very cooling. Mmm. It's certainly a more scientific way of dealing with a hot day than this fan. Oh! No. Oh, that got... Newton! There. There's enough ice cubes for everyone. Oh, how thoughtful. Uh -huh. yeah. Think so? That's funny. They seemed a lot bigger a few minutes ago. Oh. Yes, that's because it melts. Ice does that, unlike my fan, which, as you can see, is not melting. <laughs> well, the ice cubes won't last long. They're melting even faster. Uh, that's possibly because it's getting even warmer. Uh, oh. Well, that's it. They're gone. What a pity, Newton. All that hard work for nothing. Oh, well, it was worth trying. Ooh, at least the water's cold. I know. I'll fill the sink with ice, and when it melts, I'll have a swim instead. Oh, <laughs> I'm going downstairs for a sleep. Any boffin coming? Oh, it was a fish boy. The ice is almost melted. I'll go and get my towel, and when I come back, splish, splash, splash! Right, time for a swim. Oh, boy, aren't those boffins going to be jealous when they hear me splashing about? Last one ends, rotten egg! Oh! Yikes! Ah. Oh. What? what in the kitchen was that? Oh, who stole my water? Oh, it's Newton. It's not fair. It was my water. I collected the ice. I filled the sink. You had no right to take it from me. Oh, we didn't 
didn't take your water, Newton. We were asleep. Well, some boffin did. I'm afraid there are no other boffins around. Then what happened to it? This is indeed a mystery. Yes. And we'll need careful detective work to figure this out. Oh, where will we find a detective? Oh, we'll be detectives. Scientific detectives. Ooh. But how? Well, while you were fetching your towel, something happened to the water. We'll get some more water, but this time we'll observe what happens. Mm. There's nothing happening yet. Oh, but it's getting even hotter. For once, I'd gladly trade my science in on another quiet nap. Oh, look! Something's happening after all. I'm sure there's less water than there was before. Hey, hey. My water's disappearing before my very eyes. And there's your answer. Whatever caused the ice to melt also caused your water to disappear. And what could that be? Oh, I got it! Spiffling! A very hot day! Yes! Heat does very interesting things to solids, liquids and gases. To what? That's the three things everything's made of. That's right. Solids, like the ice. Liquids, like water. And, and all, all the, the gases, gases in the, the air around you. Solids are solid. Liquids are wet. And you can't see the gases, but they're there. Dead set. <laughs> if you heat up a solid, you'll see. It'll melt and turn liquid. Trust me. The reason for this is everything's made... ...of very small atoms of the tiniest grain. In the solids, the atoms are dense. In the liquids, the gaps are immense. If you keep heating liquid, it'll boil, bubble and spit. As the atoms go crazy from that energy of bit, and that, that energy, energy will make, make them, them all fly to join the gases and air, air in the sky. So if it got really, really hot, the fridge would melt and become liquid. Yes. And then, if it got even hotter, it would eventually become an invisible gas. Correct. Huh. Wow. And what happens when it gets cold? Oh, uh, the opposite. Yes. Gases become liquids. And liquids become solids. Ow! <laughs> oh, well, my water's up there somewhere. I'll just have to wait until it gets cold so I can get it back. Yes. Meanwhile, you'd better use this. Hmm. What's this for? That's so you don't get wet when your water comes down. <laughs> Aristotle! <laughs> Madame Curie. Mm. <sighs> Solids are solid. And liquids are wet. And you can't see the gases, but they're there. Dead set. <laughs> If you heat up a solid, you'll see. It'll melt and turn liquid. Trust me. The reason for this is everything's made... ...of very small atoms of the tiniest grain. In the solids, the atoms are dense. In the liquids, the gaps are immense. If you keep heating liquid, it'll boil, bubble and spit. As the atoms go crazy from that energy of bit... ...and that, that energy, energy will make, make them all fly... ...to join the, the gases, gases and air in the sky. Thank you.